QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote presentation, Vendor Expense Purchases Pay or AP Cycle. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon, left-hand side, topic, introduction, 1155, vendor, expense, purchases, pay, or AP cycle tab. Also, take a look at the immersive reader tool. The topic introductions will be in the text area, too, with the same name, same number, but with transcripts. Transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages, either listened to or read in them. Same name and number as presentations as well. Topic introductions designed to give an introduction to the topic. Provide screenshots, links where applicable. Give a County and background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with the presentations if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left hand side, we're talked last time about breaking the accounting process into cycles we're going to drill down into the cycles now which you could call the purchases cycle the ap cycle the expense cycle or the vendor cycle which you can typically get to by going to the plus button up top that will give you some of the general forms in that cycle or in the accounting view and the expenses tab which is kind of like the vendor center if you were in the business view you still got the plus button up top but the vendor center is in the get paid and paid area. And you might have some of the transactions that would be down here in the bookkeeping area as well. So same kind of stuff in general, just a different layout as QuickBooks kind of AB tests their website to see what people prefer. We're focusing here in the vendor area. We got the expenses, we got the checks. Those are decreases to the checking account, typically for the the purchase of items or for the expenses that are being consumed difference being be the two is that the check has a check number expenses have no check number the bill is an accrual basis form increasing accounts payable pay bills is going to be the form that pays off the bill in essence another check type form but specific to paying down the accounts payable purchase order is going to be a request for inventory and then we've got the vendor credit the credit card credit and the print checks these are going to be items that aren't always in the normal kind of process but we will go over them as we go through these forms and we'll take a look at each one of these forms and the impact on the financial statements balance sheet and income statement note as you're tracking those forms the impact on the financial statements and as they relate to the vendors the people that we are paying you can go to the expense tab which is in essence the vendor center which has two tabs up top if you're in the accounting view expenses breaking out those general forms that you can then sort by with regards to the activity related to them and then the vendors tab which is going to break out the information by vendor and then if you're in the business view you've got the get paid and paid center that's where you're going to find that vendor information and some of that information breaking out the vendor activity is actually in the bookkeeping area at this point in time so here's the pay here's the vendor section in that uh, business view so we're kind of breaking down the process of this vendor cycle this is a screenshot of the home page of the desktop version but i think the desktop version gives you a nice breakout of the flow here in a flowchart method and this forms will be the same in the quickbooks online so it's a good tool to work with when you're trying to think through what's going to be the activities of the vendor section flow we will be going through these forms and looking at the impact on the financial statements for each in future presentations